Own a car? Listen up. Police are trying to crack down on thieves who are striking over and over again. And they're stealing a specific part, leaving vehicles damaged and owners with high repair bills. Bob Jones shows us how these crimes have hurt those who care for the disabled. Each day, about 700 people, many with disabilities, rely on United Disability Services for rides to programs or doctor's appointments. But some of the transit buses can't pull out of the parking lot thanks to crawling crooks. We learned when our drivers started arriving at about 545 on Monday morning and um, start up a vehicle and it is missing most of the exhaust. It makes a big noise. Thieves cut out catalytic converters from five of the buses, putting them temporarily out of commission and forcing the agency to scramble to find transportation for many of its clients. It's a very unfortunate and in this instance kind of a cruel, well it's always a cruel thing to uh, you know, vandalize and, and steal from somebody, but um, you know, this affects a lot of people. Akron detectives are investigating a spike in catalytic converter thefts throughout the city, 33 of them in a week, including 12 at a used car lot on Britain Road. You can see exhaust parts still dangling under this car. Police say the crimes are happening at night and money appears to be the motive. We believe that the majority of suspects take these products, these uh, this equipment to scrap them. Apparently there's uh, metals, precious metals that are uh, made up in the catalytic converters and it has some value. If your emission control device is stolen, the loud sound is not only extremely annoying, it could also violate Akron's noise ordinance. And for the victims, that's only part of the frustration. The repairs can be very expensive. I would say anywhere between three and five hundred dollars, and depending on what the uh, additional damage to the exhaust would be, you could be talking quite a bit of money from the center of the car to the rear tailpipe. Police are now looking for any surveillance video that may have captured the car park crooks on camera. Meanwhile, UDS plans to increase security around its buses. The risk that you're taking as a criminal taking something for scrap metal like this. Uh, there's a lot of it going on. They're, they're going to get caught and, you know, hopefully justice will be done. In Akron, Bob Jones, News 5.